The World Rally Championship, one of the only international motorsport disciplines where drivers have to prove their skill both on nicely paved roads as well as on ice and snow. Last week, the snow rally of the season was held. Traditionally, this round of the World Championship is held in Sweden, although this year the rally will be held in the Arctic region of Finland. Today, we're checking out what it takes to win in the Swedish snow. Hi, my name is Carl and welcome to a new video. Today, I've designed us a seven stage rally for us to compete in. First, we're gonna start off in WRC9 and we're gonna hold the finale on Dirt Rally 2.0. Let's get straight into it. I've chosen Otanax Hyundai for this challenge. And hopefully that's gonna bring us some good luck in this rally. Because snow and ice is far from being a natural habitat of mine. <laughs> Let's hope we can good, get a good result anyway and get a bit lucky in this rally. As you can see, this first stage is looking quite a bit different to what you would expect from a rally stage. Traditionally, rallying is all about point-to-point -point racing where drivers have to travel great distances in wild terrain to reach the finish line. Here we can see a closed-in environment reminiscent of what you would expect from a circuit race. So what's going on here? Well, some stages in the WRC Championship are actually held in smaller stadium-like sections. This brings with it a bit of a change of pace for the drivers as well as the much improved viewing experience for the fans. Normally fans would place themselves at a designated corner waiting quite a while for the drivers to fly by only to see them for a couple of seconds. In these stadiums it is much easier to see the drivers come by and you can enjoy them while they do their lap around this little circuit-like area. So as you can understand, the main reason for creating these so-called super special stages is mainly the show for the fans. But in my opinion, it does break it up quite a bit and some of these super special stages can be quite interesting. Second stage, and this is already much more familiar terrain for me. I'm gonna concentrate because it's a very technical stage and I want a good result. As you can see, these first stages were run while the sun was still coming up. Even at dusk, visibility was still excellent and I tried to push from the get-go. In rally, there is no time to waste. Stage 2 was a technical section, but as soon as we went on to stage 3, the speed of this rally really got apparent. Even on ice, the Swedish rally is one of the fastest rallies of the whole WRC championship. I overshot some corners here and there, but 
Overall, I never lost much time. This kept us at the front, with a small margin of a couple of seconds won over the competition after every stage. Overall, I think Altanac would be proud of us. Being able to drive in the snow is an essential skill to win this round of the WRC. It's a skill I personally struggle a little with being a circuit racer, as there is really nothing to do. No! Rally cars are fitted with studded tires that quite literally pierce the eyes to give the drivers grip. They in fact give so much grip that the grip on ice is greater than the one rally drivers experience on gravel. Still though, the grip is nowhere near what you would find on tarmac obviously. And because of the excessive speeds reached at the Swedish stages, cars still drift quite a bit. You also want to watch out not to go offline too much as excessive snow cancels out the working of the studs. The strangest feeling while driving on snow to me personally is the weird floating of the car when you apply the brakes. There's really nothing you can compare it to. So I guess if you want to experience that, you will have to hit the stages. To summarize this whole section, I guess there's nothing more to say than driving on snow is a very special skill. And it's no wonder that mostly people from Scandinavian countries win these snow rallies. Ooh, perfect ending there. Five seconds, that's good. There is one thing I haven't mentioned in this whole video yet. That is that despite topping all of the timing sheets, I never felt fully satisfied with my runs. I pushed hard and I tried to reach into my top form, yet somehow I always felt disconnected. So before the final stage in WRC9, I took a deep breath, drank some water, cleared my head, and then I pushed like I had never done before. Final stage. This hasn't been the longest rally we've ever done on this channel, but it has been a very tough one. Five, Indeed. Four, Let's three, keep it two, out of the snowbanks in this one. Four left, extra long of a crest, 30. And let's go. Four right long, tightens. Into six left. Into five right long, tightens three. Into five left of a bump. Tightened three, upwards of a crest, 30, caution, three right tightens, into turn, five left, 70, pass junction, early six right of a crest, jump, 30, flat right, 60, five right tightens, six left. Long of a crest, 60. Oof. Keep left of a jump, 250 of a bumps downhill, 6 left of a bridge, extra long, tightens 4, 6 right, 130, 6 left, 150, flat crest and jump, 100, slow, turn unseen, 1 right long, tightens, opens. 80, pass junction.
right, into flat left, 50. Bumps into five right, opens extra long, end of a crest, <laughs> to keep middle of a bumps, 80. Five left, to keep middle of a crest, 60 of a finish, 150 to stop. Well done. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> What a way to end this rally. Holy. I think that was one of my best performance performances of the day. So, a good ending to a great uh, rally. I think the game. Yeah, the game's all happy with me uh, completely <laughs> destroying the car there. What a race, what a race. I think that means we did it. How far uh, away are we? 13 to the A to 26 that's only 12 seconds so we are the winners of the Swedish slash Arctic rally I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really enjoyed making it what a rally I I've, I've had forgotten how fast the Swedish rally really is in uh, WRC and the rally 2.0 you need to go so quick on the snow banked corners and Honestly, I, I really recommend, well, trying to train a little bit on that and, uh, and just going flat out over those, uh, those ice jumps. Absolutely amazing. I tremendously enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more sim racing content and I'll see you space races next time. Goodbye.